but I wanted to, to address one thing, and that is hot zones. So some folks have asked, and this came in several different questions. They're like, Alan, you know, I got an area in my park strip or my parkway or along the driveway where the concrete is that gets really bad crabgrass every year, and it comes up much earlier. And that is because that's a heat zone, right? That's where sun hits that concrete, radiates out, so those areas heat up faster. But on to- And so the crabgrass germinates sooner. But on top of that, those are also areas that maybe get more foot traffic, people getting in and out of cars, stepping on the lawn, breaks a barrier. Uh, also, your weed whacking, or if you use a blade edger, that will break the barrier. Also, it isn't like the prodiamine barrier, you know, runs right up to the sidewalk and sticks to it. It doesn't do that. So those areas will always have breakthrough. Now, if people ask, should I apply heavier in those areas? And the answer is, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. But what you might want to do is, number one, hit those areas earlier around the edges. And this is where using a liquid and a granular strategy might come in better because liquid, again, easier to control like around an edge. So if you know you got all the edges you know, the, your, your, you know, your soil temp in the, in the whole of the lawn is typically going to hit 50 to 55, you know, say, I don't know, whatever, like April, April 1st, wherever you live. Well, but the areas around the heat zones might be two or three weeks ahead of that. So you go out and you spray liquid around the edges, right? That two or three weeks ahead of time and just target those areas. That's one strategy. The other one would be though, if you do apply granular, you know, you get some in your driveway, you know, some squirts off, it gets in the driveway, it gets in the sidewalk, we'll sweep that back in and sweep that right along the edges to kind of hedge those areas. That's another way to do it. So I'm not telling you to go spray heavy, go off label, but for sure, put your, put your extra granules that went on this driveway because you don't want to leave them there. Sweep those around those edges for sure or use that liquid strategy. But that's kind of a way to start working. And then the other thing is, obviously, you know those are hot zones. You know they're going to have breakthrough. So be ready with your quinclorac ahead of time. Have that mixed up early and get on that crabgrass when it's young so it's much easier to kill and much faster. So 